On Capture, Final Cut 10 has the ability to modify and analyze clips. Let's take a look at where we would set that. We would import from some files. And you can see down below, we have the ability to analyze for color and stabilization. And for audio, we can sit back and analyze and fix audio problems, as well as remove dead channels. While I think it's great to do on ingest, I think it's a little bit more powerful to do this stuff after the fact. We're going to start with audio, and I'm going to take a clip that we have not done the analysis with. I'm going to go up to modify and say analyze and fix. And I'm just going to tell this to analyze and fix the audio problems here. And this will just take a moment. Uh, this is the original clip. This is not the footage that's been sunk up with cleaner audio. I'm intentionally analyzing the bad audio to see if we can make a difference with it. Once the analysis is over, it happened very quickly here. I'm going to go ahead to the inspector. And with that clip selected, go to the audio tab. You can see right on the audio tab, it's got the words potential audio problems detected. And I'm going to go ahead here and arrow to the right to show the audio enhancements inspector. You can see that it's okay with its loudness and it doesn't detect a hum, but it definitely saw some background noise problem. So I'm going to go ahead and play this clip. It's important to use my image. And... It's what the original clip sounds like. And with it playing back, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, just the background noise removal. Do the permission. Okay. My name's Joe Fuller. And just permission Off. For you to use my image and uh, background noise reduce. Anything that you'd like. What you have to decide, and you can only decide while it's playing back, is how much of it feels natural or unnatural. If you do a hundred percent noise reduction. Okay. My name's Joe Fuller. It leaves a crinkly audio sound in the background which is why you'll have to find a mix for the clips that you feel comfortable with. Since we went and we captured this audio separately, I'd rather use that separate audio, but I thought it was worth it for us to go and see how to do background noise removal this way. Hum removal is not much different. If it detects it, you can remove it.